Okay, you all come in, come in, come in, come in. Hit the like, hit the share button, as you can see, right? Just leaving the gym. So you are going to have to get what you what you can get tonight. And I'm going to break down. Let me put emphasis on this. First of all, it is the total solar eclipse on April the 8th. I'm going to break down the number eight, what this means. Right, the boomerang, the infinity sign, the revelation one and eleven, alpha and omega. I am alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. What this what does this mean? What does the number eight mean? What does this total solar eclipse mean? And let's take a look back in history of what the eclipse has mean. Not a total solar eclipse, but just the solar eclipse has mean or meant historically for the stock market just on solar eclipse, right? And how this is going to affect or maybe affect the economy. But breaking news, just as we see the total solar eclipse that's going to form an X. Let's see if I can pull that up over the United States. We have news of XRP today, right? XRP and what's going on with XRP as the total solar eclipse will form up, will form an X over the United States. So X marks the spot. Uh, we know Elon Musk, formerly known. Um, or purchase Twitter, right? The Bluebirds, no longer the Bluebird anymore. Um, changed it to X.com and X as it relates to the United States and what's going on. So you all come in, come in, come in, hit the like, hit the share button. Um, let's get this started. It's going to be a lot of teaching, but I'm going to do it in a very short amount of time. So April 8th, as you can see, let's see if I can get a bigger picture of this for you. Yes, X marks the spot, the total solar eclipse in seven years. Now, we know the number seven is divine transition, right? A divine transition happened um, biblically when God informed Noah, right? This is the allegory. This is the story, the story, the moral of the story in um, Genesis when the flood happened. When God told Noah, I will never again destroy the earth in this way by water. In fact, he said it'll be by fire next time, right? But the rainbow was for a covenant. Well, we know that the rainbow has how many colors? How many colors does the rainbow have as you all are coming in? Exactly seven colors in the rainbow, right? Seven colors in the rainbow. So... God told Noah, I will never, ever again destroy the earth this way. This is my promise to you. This is my covenant to you. And seven is the number of a divine transition, meaning that that transition had taken place of destroying the earth in that form, in that faction. Now, Psalm 7, Psalm 7 biblically brings perfect order, right? In Psalm 7, it brings perfect order. Um, seven is also a number of research, of analysis, of spirituality. Seven means to rest. Something is complete or you need to enter a rest when you see the number seven. Part of Jesus' ministry, for example, was changing the religious structure. So seven is the number of completeness or perfection. Again, a divine transition. Now, eight is, to, is leading into something else, but seven is the number of transition. Seven is the number of perfection, right? Uh, that something is complete or something is perfected. So we're breaking that down. Okay, you all come in, hit the thumbs up. Also, let me know what part of the world you are tuning in, your city, your state. Whether you are watching this live or on the replay, your country, let me know where you are tuning in from. So X mark the spot. 
two solar eclipses in seven years. I broke down the number seven. And this is the X. Now, August 21st, 2017 um, is showing the X as well. The total, again, the key word here is total solar eclipse 2017 and 2024. Right. 2017, also the letter X in the alphabet. The letter X is equals to 24th, the 24th letter in the alphabet. Now, why this is a big deal is because a total solar eclipse total <laughs> uh, can be seen from the same place once every 375 years. Right. Once every 375 years. And so this is um, the points of the Earth used to arrive to the, the average number of years. Now, a total solar eclipse is a rare, very rare event. So we need you need to know what's going on. Now, the, let's see. Okay. Uh, trying to, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not skipping over anything and I'm not teaching um, too fast. All right. Now, with this being said, economy, this is what I'm looking at, what's going to happen to the economy. But let's break down first what has happened economic wise, just doing a regular, right, a regular eclipse. A regular solar eclipse. Thank you for tuning in and saying hello from Cleveland, Ohio. We also have Hog Major. Thank you for saying hello. Bay Area, Fremont, California. I heard, I read rather, that housing prices in California are dropping. Um, I read that article today by as much as 40%. 40%, right? And so now what happens? are economically the market crash cycles of just a solar eclipse, not a total solar eclipse, right? Because I don't want people to comment on my video and say, well, you know, this has happened um, on a solar eclipse and nothing. Well, this is a total <laughs> solar eclipse. It is different. Now, the biblical economic reset. Now, I told you I broke down earlier the number seven, the Sabbath seventh year cycle. So many Bible researchers hold a belief, right? that the Luciferians that control the world economic system and Wall Street in the last days. And I first noticed that the Luciferian are the people, right, that control Wall Street, not some spirit with horns on it, first of all. So the master crash cycle Every seven years, it is inevitable that the U.S. Um, European dominated world econo economy to make way for the new world order, the NWO. No big secret. President Bush talked about the new world order speech. And uh, let's see, when did Bush give, Bush gave his speech? Was it 19? around, was in 1990, but President Bush gave a speech about the New World Order and to Congress declared such a quest on September 11, 1991. Now, 9-11 with 1991 equals 9-11, right? Equals one, right? Dash, nine, nine, one sequence. Now, I'm going to show you how this total solar eclipse April the 8th is the 99th day of the year. Now, the 9 is a universal number, meaning that every human being, all of us, all of us, no matter what your age, your date of birth, the year you were born, we all, our date of birth are connected to the number 9. Now, I've done um, many, many you know, live streams on this. I'm not going to cover that tonight. You just got to take my word for it. All of us, no matter what our age, date of birth, year, we are all universally connected to the number nine. Now, also the number nine is in connection with that which is hidden will be revealed. 
as a woman carries a, a, a infant, a fetus in her womb and darkness for nine months. And after the nine months of full maturation, of full maturity, that baby is birthed. It is birth if it if it is birth before the ninth month, it is um, declared a premature birth, right? So we're talking about full maturity, full maturation, and the number nine. Anything also is a true number. Any number multiplied by nine will equal nine when divided. Even any number multiplied, like, for example, two times nine is 18. One plus eight is nine. Three times um, nine is 27. Seven plus two is nine. Four times nine is 36. Six plus three is nine. In the accounting world, nine defines an error. Any error in the accounting world that is evenly divisible by nine means a error has occurred. So nine can find judgment. It can find righteousness and is the number of discernment, right? And so with this, um, I'm DA 549. Okay. With this being said, let's see. XX says our culture, religious, religious talk about the X. Uh, talk about the solar eclipse. Keep that in mind, people who doubt the spiritual side of things. Okay, I just read that. Don't really know what it means. Uh, maybe it'll it'll come to you. And thank you, everyone that's coming in and dropping their city and state and our country. Now, with this being said, you all, um, President Bush talked about the New World Order, the Declaration of the New World Order on September 11 by 1990 by the first Bush, right? And the attack on the Twin Towers, which also equals two or one and one, right? Um, September 11, 2001. And then the second Bush is eleven, exactly 11 years apart from the New World Order speech from the first Bush to the second Bush, exactly 11 years apart. Now we know 1111, right? As in Genesis 11 means disorder, disruption, but also a people of unity that had a mind of unification. Genesis 11 was disorder and disruption because the people wanted to leave the earth and, and, and go higher to their own heaven. And biblically, it states that the highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given unto mankind. In Genesis, it also states, or Genesis, that we are to subdue and have dominion on earth, to multiply. So God's wish and desire is for mankind to dominate earth, right, and not seek to go to heaven. Just opposite of what most religious institution, aka churches, teach. You're supposed to dominate on earth. Uh, Red Star says nine brings it all back. Wu-Tang knew that when they were doing the 36 chambers. Mm, can you elaborate on that? What do you mean by nine brings it all back? Because I know the number eight brings it all back, as in a boomerang. Right. What you put out will return back to you, good or bad. Right. And so the crash of the stock market when it comes to a solar eclipse. It for the crash to occur, there must be a certain astronomical conditions, whether you believe in astrology or not. The Bible says the sun and the moon and stars are provided to give us signs and wonders not for light or darkness, right? The stars are not created so they can shine bright in darkness. Neither is the moon. It's for signs and wonder. Also notice or take note that Bitcoin moves with the full moon or the new moon, right? Bitcoin's moon moves with the full moon and the new moon. Whenever there's a full moon, days before or days after, 
the trend of Bitcoin is that it usually pumps, right? When there is a new moon, the trend of Bitcoin is that it usually dumps. Biblically, in 2 Kings chapter 4, if there's a rich woman, and it states that this woman was not rich from her husband's riches or wealth, right? And her son died. And she went to look for the prophet, Elisha or Elijah, as a result. And uh, go read it. Go fact check me for yourself. Right. And her husband informs her or tells her that it is neither a new moon. Right. And she says, well, hey, I'm going anyway. She went anyway to see the man of God. So a new moon, full moons are for signs and for wonders. So with Bitcoin, a new moon usually means it's going to um, have a dip or a crash. Right. Full moon is a rise. Same with the stock market. It's a rise before a full moon and a drop after. Well, not exactly the same, but a drop after the full moon with Bitcoin. It is a rise before or after a full moon. And that has been documented um, since Bitcoin came upon the scene in 2009. So the market crash, the cycle of the market crashes and the panic. The cycle of wars, the cycle of civilization, um, given the next eclipse, solar eclipse cycle, we can assess that the possible crash scenario using this market cycle theory is that a perfect economic storm is brewing, um, doing for the stock market crash. Now, notable market crash in 1929. In 1987, the world panicked. This was called Black Monday, the stock market crash, right? Uh, again, the 2001 fall panic, the 2007 crash. 2008, we had a 777 point drop in the stock market. 2009, I'm, um, there was a spring crisis. 2011, the number 11. Chaos and confusion, but a wealth transfer at the same time, just like the Twin Towers. There was millions of physical silver and gold buried underneath the rubble of the Twin Tower. Towers in 2011, 2011. 2022, the New World Order, and then we know what happened in 2019 where C-19 was introduced. All of these crashes, as you can see on this timeline, have happened every seven years. From 1987 to Black, um, Black Monday, stock market crash. And as this is happening, you can see the value of the dollar declining. In 1913, this is when the central banks was created. So these market crash cycles are in intervals of seven years. 1987, 1980, 1994, 1994, 2001, 2001, 2008, 2008, 2015, again, 2015. Um, these crash cycles have happened. And then, of course, we got 2019. And now we are embarking of 2024. Not exactly seven years, but if we look between 2015 and 2022, that is almost in alignment with 2019 and C-19. So the fall of 2017, the Bible, the divine transition, um, seven years, the seven day, seven year cycle. I also want to show you, and we're going to talk about the big move of um, Ripple XRP, but I want to start with this first. This TikTok video, I thought it was great and informative as well about the stock market crashes that's related or in conjunction with, that's tied to the total solar eclipse. Nine is, is the universal number, like the last before a new zero, 360, 720, like the last before a new zero. 1080 to 1260, even with the video quality. Yes, I, you may just came in. I pointed out that nine is the universal number. Even everyone's date of birth 
is connected to the number nine. I have a small whiteboard. I may show it to you real quick. Um, I don't really mentally feel like doing it for anybody tonight. Showing their birthday is connected to the number nine, but all of our birthdays, um, birthday or date of birth or what, however you want to word it, is connected with the number nine, no matter your age, your birth or the year. So the gateway opening, the number eight, then I'm going to break April that eight, during the, the number eight after we watch this video. On April 8th, during the solar eclipse, a gateway will open up. And this is new energy pouring into our realm. This energy will change our whole planet overnight. You guys have to understand that this is a rare sky event. And a solar eclipse will happen two to four times a year. Now, a total eclipse, this will happen once every hundred years or so. Now, in order for you to understand the true history behind the solar eclipse, you have to go back every hundred years to see what happened. And what you will figure out is this will be the time when governments and empires will fall. In the 1920s, the whole Wall Street came crashing down. Now, we went back a hundred years ago, y'all. This is all during the solar eclipse. Check it out, y'all. Even the banks started to close down and shut their doors on the people. And this would cause stress and send panic throughout the whole world. And these same signs that we've seen in the past, we are seeing now. So this total solar eclipse that will happen April 8th will bring great transformation and great judgment on our planet. And this is just the beginning. Y'all stand tuned for part two. I hope y'all like the lecture. Peace and love, family. Now, on his comments on that video on TikTok, there were so many people saying, oh, we had a solar eclipse, but it is a total solar eclipse. Not the same as the regular solar eclipse. So let's break down the number eight, or at least let me break it down for you, right? The biblical meaning, I love to look at the Bible as the resource to reveal for us the hidden messages and the hidden code of what's ahead. Just like crypto means crypto, 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 forgive me, you know, it's kind of hard to say that word, uh, cryptography, and Let's see, numerology and spirituality coexist together. I do agree. I do agree. Um, even in the Bible, you have a whole book called Numbers. Um, in fact, double uh, X, McLovin, 702, double X, I see the nine, and 702. Um, you know, I made a post today on my Facebook page that the Bible tells us two things. Number one, it says God is not a man. And I know it's more to that scripture, but it says God is not a man and he shall lie. But it brings out God is not a man. And then John 4, 24, um, God is a spirit and they that worship him must. God is a spirit and they that worship. I got to take out the him. Right. They that worship must worship the spirit and spirit and in truth. You have to learn how to worship in the spirit, because if you always look at God as that he or she a spirit is a both combination of both masculine and feminine attributes, qualities. Just like we human beings have both estrogen and testosterone within us, right? Genesis or Genesis says male and female created he, them. We are two and one estrogen, testosterone. And so with that being said, we have to stop putting these gender uh, identities on God. God is a spirit. God is not a man. Right. And so you must learn to worship in the spirit, not worship in religion. So the biblical meaning of the number eight, I broke down to number seven. Eight is a big significant. It represents new beginnings. Renewal, separation, infinite, infinity, karma, boomerang, whatever you want to say, it, that which you dish out will return to you. And sometimes it returns to you 
at a greater force than what you than that which you distributed out. Right. This is the number of a new beginning, a new financial reset, a new spiritual reset. Right. Um, a new world order, a new world financial system combined with the X XRP news. Stay tuned. I have to discuss that as well. It is seven is the number of completion, perfection, divine transition. The number eight is seen now is the next step. A fresh start. In fact, Janus size one and one says in the beginning, there was a fresh start. The earth was was without. Um, it was void and darkness. So the earth was already here. It was just void and darkness. It wasn't a new earth created. So a new chapter, right? It signifies a fresh start from the transition of the number. Mission, which is number seven. I haven't taught on this in a long time, but I love teaching and breaking it down. Um, number eight is again combined with Noah, the rainbow, seven colors, seven colors in the rainbow. Eight, the story of Noah and the great flood, and Noah and his family, eight people in total, were chosen to begin a new start a fresh start after the flood right after the divine transition god's cleansing and redemption the power of renewal the opportunity for a fresh start um the resurrection and notice that we just or some people just celebrated easter even though the bible does not bring out easter but um but rather passover a fresh start that's connected with the sun, S-U-N, and the sun, S-O-N, is why the man-made holiday Easter was created, right? The sun, S-U-N, is bringing in a fresh start. Notice that the outer layer of the sun is called Corona as well, right? And then C-19, we had Corona. And so with this, the allegory, the story of the, what you should learn is that Jesus rose from the dead on the first day of the week. Consider a new beginning, the eighth day of creation. The ultimate new beginning. And we're definitely going to enter a new financial system. In fact, April is the first month of the year. I think I used to teach that wrong. And if I did, I stand corrected. And I said that it was March, that we we're marching into new beginnings. But it's actually April. And nature shows that all around you. Nature shows you that spring is coming. Weather is changing. Flowers are blooming. Animals are coming out of um, hibernation and awakening, starting anew. August, the number eight, is not a new beginning. A lot of religious institutions teach this as well. And so Noah and his family, equal to eight people, survived the flood because they were chosen to start something new, right? The power of renewal, the opportunity for a fresh start. The number eight is also associated with victory and perfect sacrifice, right? Um, the new... Numerical number and Greek for the word Jesus is 888, the perfect sacrifice for humanity, right? Now, the great flood is also Genesis 6 through 9. We have 69, which is also connected with Bitcoin. 69 is connected with Bitcoin. Um, it's a new resurrection. We know the Phoenix in 1988. Let me pull that up. The Phoenix of 1988. And also I want to, before I bring this up on the eighth day, on the eighth day after the rain stopped, 
Noah released the flood. The flood waters came to the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. 40 plus 40 is 80, right? And after the rain stopped, the earth remained and flooded for another 150 days. On the eighth day after the rain stopped, Noah released the dove from the ark and it returned with the olive leaf, indicating that the waters had receded. This is also Genesis 8, verses 10 through 12. Now, the number eight also appears in the Bible with Abraham and his son, right? This is Genesis 17 and 12. 17 and 12 is 11. Seven plus one is eight. Eight plus one is nine. Nine plus two is 11. It is a sign of covenant between God and Abraham and his descendants um, that every male child shall be circumcised on the eighth day, right? Circumcised on the eighth day. A covenant. So this is a resurrection, right? This is also crucifixion. We see the word crucifixion has the X in it. Crucifixion. Jesus rose from the dead the first day of the week, often referred as the eighth day again, not the first day. Um, the event marked the ultimate sacrifice. So um, I can go on and on about the number eight, but it holds great significance the 1988 economist cover shows the phoenix bird the phoenix bird is a bird that is known to rise from the ashes it burns itself it resurrects itself and it rises from its own action right now 1988 this is not what i want okay here we go i'm um, get ready for a new world economic system again 4824 uh, when we think of 4A24, we also got to think of Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba. Now, I'm not insinuating that Kobe Bryant is going to resurrect. And I'm not saying that. But the eight, the infinity sign next year, 2025, is going to be in China, the year of the snake. This is the year of the dragon, the 24, which equals six. Again, Bitcoin equals 69. Six is the number of man on a six day. God said was the only day that God said a creation that was very good. So we have man created and the wild beast. The wild beast represents our pituitary gland, right? In sports, we say people go beast mode. The pineal gland, when Jacob wrestled with, and he named that place pineal when he was wrestling with himself, that means you're wrestling against your good and your bad, your yin and your yang, right? In Genesis, when Adam and Eve partook of the fruit, and God said, now man is like us to know both evil and good. That means we have both evil and good within us. Who was God talking to? He had to be talking to the evil one. Couldn't have been talking to someone good. God represents the good. The devil represents the evil. So now man is like us. The Satan was the, um, Satan was the only one or the serpent, rather, was the only one. Serpent is also related to the dragon that could speak in the garden. The serpent was the only one in the garden that was wise and cunning. So God said, now man is like us to know both good and evil. Right? I'm kind of going on that biblical spiel. So this is the 1988 Economist. The phoenix rising from the ashes. And you can see under the clause of the phoenix, it says um, it shows cash currency. Physical cash, this is where we are heading. Um, also on the cover, it says get ready for a new, for a world economic system. This chain around the Phoenix net could represent the blockchain technology and our chain link. 2018 is the year that had the biggest crash with crypto, a big crash with crypto. Also 2018 represents or equals to 11. 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 2 is 11. Remember, 11-11 as the 9-11, as the Genesis 11 represents a crash, right? The Tower of Babel had to be crashed, tumbling down. The Twin Towers crash, and also a wealth transfer simultaneously, right? And so 8 plus 9 is also 11. Then we have the Phoenix, and we see the X here within the Phoenix. 
10, 10 is the number of the tithe. 10 is the number of prosperity. Give a 10th of um, your blessings. Biblically is taught. And so we have the gold coin, which can represent Bitcoin and physical gold. The phoenix represents XRP. So XRP brings out big news today on 4-4. Four, 4, four represents those things in the earth realm. On the fourth day, biblically, light, liquid land and light bearing food was created on the fourth day. The number four also represents direction, the four directions, the four corners of the, the earth. News, north, east, west, and south. Right? And so with this being said, let's look at some comments real quick. I don't have any comments. Okay. But let me go back to nine being a universal number, like uh, Red Star said. This was someone's birthday, for example, on 522-67. Right? 522-67. This was the last live stream that I did. And so I'm looking at this from this. Uh, 522.67. So 5 plus 2, right? Date of birth equals 7. And then we have 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. And then we have 9 plus 6. The next 60, you know, date or number equals 15. 15 plus 7 equals 22, the last number in, in the year of born. Now, we take 22 and we divide it, or 22, 2 plus 2 equals 4. So 2 plus 2 equals 4. So we take 22, subtract it by 4, we get 18. And 1 plus 8 is 9. Right? Now, with this being said, the person age was 65, right? Six plus five is 11. We subtract 65, the age, from the addition of the two numbers. We have 54. 54, five plus four is nine. Now, if you want to drop me your date of birth and your age, uh, I will break this down. But it's, it's been a while. I already had that set up. Uh, but everybody universally by the date of their birth and age equals nine. Now let's get into Ripple's XRP move as we see that this total solar eclipse will form an X. Now what happened with Ripple today is that they entered Stablecoin with Tether and USDC, Ripple developer. Why this is big, big news because now this puts Ripple and a $2.2 trillion market. Okay, Paul, I saw you first. So, so I will do that for you. Okay, you got age 36. Okay, Portia, I like that. Love it, in fact. And so Ripple, right? Blockchain service, the create, uh, Ripple is the creator of XRP, is introducing its own stable coin pegged to the price of the United States dollar. The stable coin market you are as of right now, that means $150 billion today. And it's forecasted or predicted to be $2.8 trillion by 2028. There is a clear demand for stable coins that deliver trust, stability, utility. I told you all we have central banks digital currency that's coming within a year, 12 to 16 months. And so now we have Ripple with USDC and Tether. Now, 100% backed by the United States dollars. So this means U.S. government treasuries and other cash equivalent, the stable coin will be deployed onto Ripple's Focus XRP ledger around, along with Ethereum. And we don't even have Ethereum um, ETF yet, right? Black, coin, black Bitcoin ETF has been approved through BlackRock, but not Ethereum as of now. So this will be on the Ethereum. It will be based on the Ethereum ERC token as well. The stablecoin proved that the most popular types of digital assets, right, uh, coming to Ethereum, you all, so by 
2028, we're looking at 2.2, 2.8 trillion dollars. But already today, this pumped 150 billion collaboration, right? Pegged to the United States dollar. Now, <laughs> a lot of money into XRP with this collab, a stable coin market, 150 billion. I did not say million. Um, so even with this $2 billion fine from the, if they faced it from the SEC, uh, Ripple XRP is still has a new, has a new revenue force. And, um, this, this is just big for XRP and those who are accumulating, stacking and have XRP. Now, let me find something to erase this with and Portia. We're going to break down yours on my mind. It's going to be able to do this and do it right because there's a lot of adding and subtraction. So let's go. This is live. This is, this is on spot. Let me write this. Everybody is universally connected to the number nine. That's just how awesome the infinite intelligent, infinite spirit, infinite God, Yahweh, whatever you want to refer to. That's how awesome it is. Intelligent it is. And so seven fifteen eighty seven. First, do that. Okay, so because we only take, and I'm probably gonna have to get my phone calculator to help me. We only take the last two digits, right? So everyone that don't know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna use uh, Portia Glover, first one to drop age and date of birth. Let me get my phone to help me with the calculator, but just to start right off, seven. Um, Seven plus one is six. So now we do six plus five is 11. Now we do 11 plus eight. 11 plus eight is 19. Then we do 19 plus 7, 26. I want to make sure I got this right. It's 26. Now, 2 plus 6 is 8. All right? I'm just showing you how I'm doing this line. So this is what it looks like. 7 plus 1 is 6. So you can do this for yourself or someone else. Um, 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 plus 8 is 19. 19 plus 7 is 26. Then 2 plus 6 is 8. Minus 8. 26 minus 8. Is it 20? No, it's not 20. 18. And then 8 plus 1. It's nine, right? So there we go. Portia Glove, you got the first nine. I'm holding it up for you. Just, you know. Okay. And this is this is anybody's. This is anyone. So now age, three plus six. That was easy. Portia, you was easy. Portia was the easy one. It's nine. And so what happens is, Now, if this equals nine, we subtract the nine from 36, and that equals 27, and here we go again. It works every time. Anybody, everybody, 
We are all a universe. That's why nine is a universal number. That's why nine is a powerful number. That's why nine reveals it. It, it, it what, what is hidden will be revealed. That's why ninth month is full maturity, full maturation for birth for a woman. Nine is the true number. Any number that is uh, multiplied by nine when added will equal to nine. Right? Nine finds errors in accounting, right? Something is revealed, something's completed, something is a universal number. We're all tied to it. Six is the upside down. Nine is the ver reversal. It is incomplete. It is man's ability without God's ability. That's why when the first six days of creation was all things in the natural, nothing was there spiritually or created. I say it that way. Created spiritually. It was everything that was created was in the natural. Everything was in nature, everything humankind natural. And then on the seventh day, the spiritual was added. March around the walls of Jericho seven times. They came tumbling down, divine transition. So I hope this all, I hope this helped you all. I hope you are preparing for this great wealth transfer. Um, this is me summing it up. I hope that you are preparing from physical cash to digital cash. Um, also note that we have approximately two weeks before the Bitcoin having you all. This is a big event. Stay spiritually connected this weekend until 4-8. Again, um, do good deeds, do good things. Boomerangs will happen. Quick, upside down, infinity sign, a new start, a new beginning, right? Um, also, in the earth realm, number four, know that you're going to see changes in the earth realm. We always, we're already seeing that with Baltimore and the bridge that affected the economy economically. And then we have things going on at war right now, setting up the stage for World War III. So this is going to be the greatest, just like 9-11, Twin Towers. This is going to be the greatest opportunity for wealth for some and poverty for others. The poem, It Was the Best of Times and the Worst of Times by Charles Dickens. It's going to be the best of times. Am I right on that, Charles Dickens? It's going to be the best of times for some and the worst of times for others who are not prepared. And this is not to scare you. This is to prompt you, to prepare you. You all, make sure you are you are. Um, subscribe to me, Queen Eleven. That's E double ones, even E V E N. Also, don't do not forget to stack your silver and gold. Go to the website Millie M I L L I Moves M O V E S dot com. Silver is the most undervalued asset in the world. Copper is is a global shortage of copper in in the world. You get copper for under five dollars, silver for under forty bucks. God's money, God's industrial metals, is going to be used to reset this currency system. You all, I cannot emphasize enough: the tables are turning. America, the Babylon is falling. United States currency system is getting dumped and debased by China, Brazil, Russia, India. South Africa and other countries are joining together in collaboration. War brings about poverty, right? So you have to be ahead. You have to be predictive and futuristic. It's like getting into um, Amazon, Google, before the WWW era, before the online shopping took off, Apple. You have to be futuristic thinking. And you have to plan and position yourself and prepare accordingly. I'm signing out, you all. Great news for XRP. I know I'm collecting more, right? Why it's still 60 cents? Because we know what XRP is going to do globally and in the future as the total eclipse forms an X around the United States as well. You all hit that like button, share this video. Hello, new time. I hope, I don't know if you just came in. Uh, I hope you caught the 
but you are representing the 888. Um, I hope you caught the beginning of this. I broke down the number eight. And he and I talked last night. We had a very intellectual and powerful uh, conversation, right, about this total solar eclipse. Um, and he also brought out the number eight, right, in, infinite. Um, things are being reversed. Things are being um, a new beginning, a fresh start, right? And also... This is set in the stage for the Bitcoin having, for this new world order, new economic system. Prepare yourself spiritually, mentally, physically. Take care of your health, right? Health as well, and um, financially as well. I'm signing out, y'all. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up, share. Queen out. Peace. We are all connected to the number nine. Go back and watch how I broke that down for Portia Glover. All of us, all our birthdays. Visit the website. Millimoves.com, stack your silver and copper.